out here. Okay, always follow the instructions, you know what I'm saying? You know what the worst part about having a Pro Clip is? Is not having one for every car you drive. Unfortunately, the cup holder uh, phone mount uh, is not cutting it for us. So today we are going to install the Pro Clip in a 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And uh, it's gonna be super fast and super easy. So let's get started. Just remember when you're installing your Pro Clip, uh, don't screw. The uh, clip into uh, your your mount just yet. Let's get everything mounted. Make sure everything fits correctly, and then we will get started. So you'll notice there's a little tap of tape right down here. Um, it's pretty much the simplest installation. There's a little spot in here where you shove this. You got the Pro Clip logo sitting at the top. There's a spot up here where it catches. You literally just you don't have to even push. You just kind of rest it in there, and it'll catch. And then you slide that part up and into the bottom vent until it's done. That's it. I mean, that's the that's the installation process. So now that we know that fits well, we're going to take the alcohol pad. Make sure that surface is nice and ready for all that lovely tape that ProClip provides. And uh, if this is the exact same tape, it looks like that they uh, used on my Challenger or they used on the Challenger clip. And basically, um, from what they're saying is uh, this does not leave any permanent residue or any damage to your dashboard. Once you remove this tape, as you're inserting the clip, I would be careful to push it up a little higher so it doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't the tape doesn't come into contact with the dashboard until you have it fully set. So let's put it in. We found our spot that locks in place, and we've got it all the way to where we want. Slide it in and let it drop and we're done yep that was uh, pretty easy okay now we are going to open the portion for the phone and uh, let's try sliding her phone in there looks like we need to do some adjusting the adjusting is super simple you uh, take the two screws there we go you take the two screws that flank the center screw just loosen them up you'll notice that they slide in and out very easily uh, what you're going to want to do is just just snug them this way uh, once you get your desired friction there put the phone in you see first of all you'll see there's lots of room for case sizing all right so i have an iphone 6s here uh, with a very small case on it and you'll see that we have i think about two millimeters of play here so squeeze this nice and tight that fits really well. Gently slide it out. Let's tighten these two screws down. Tighten that one and that one there. Okay, let's test the fit. Very nice. Alright, so now the next part. Now the center screw requires a much better screwdriver. So I was using like a a mini screwdriver or almost like a, um, a jeweler screwdriver you're going to want to use a little bit meatier screwdriver like a number two or something like that and as you're unscrewing this be careful there's some parts in there that may fall out so you want to keep everything together because um, there's a little ball that sits in there the screw is super long i'll show you that in a second so we've got the screw we'll leave that in place we've got a little ball in there and this ball is what um, needs to stay in place. And on the back of the ball, you'll see there's a little, um, there's a little bit of uh, foam there. So the ball faces down, and we're going to want to screw that onto our plate here. Let's find the holes that these line up to. Looks like right there we got four perfect holes. Now, now that we have sized everything up, we made sure everything fits. Um, now it's time that we go ahead and use the included screws, which I uh, conveniently stored in my cup holder so I wouldn't lose them, and I wound up losing them. There we 
go. And again, we need one of those little tiny screwdrivers. Okay, now these only line up one way. There's a lot of holes on the mount, um, but they do only line up with one set of holes. And it's pretty obvious to see there's a row of holes down the middle. Obviously, you're not going to screw into those. And there's four that perfectly space out to exactly where you need to put these. So we're going to do the first one now and get that guy started. Now, some of you guys had questions when I did my last mount. These screws do not protrude out the back. So you're not, you don't have screws or sharp stuff sticking out the back over there. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. All right, now you wanna make sure you got these sides nice and straight. You're gonna tighten these down. Just don't over tighten them because we are going metal into plastic. So I would use your fingertips and the maximum amount of pressure you can apply with your fingertips, unless you're Hercules and you know. All right, now the last part of it is there's a little square inside of there. And that square lines up with the square that's inside of there. You're gonna get those fitted on top of each other. And then you can rotate that out. I guess we'll, we'll work that in a little bit and then we'll do that rotating there. Now remember this screw was like super long so it's going to take a little while. And the screw should go very easy if you uh, if it starts getting caught up or something like that then you you do maybe have it cross threaded or something. Alright. I'll switch to uh, number two head here. Go. Okay, it looks like I got everything all lined up nicely. Give it a little snugness. Now here's something I found with my first one. Uh, I got it to the snugness that I wanted, so I can actually rotate it nice and easily, move it around. Yet when I stick the phone in, you'll see that it doesn't really budge. Okay, so that's the firmness I wanted at. Um, from what I found in the heat of the summer, the very first week, the uh, the pro clip got a little loose. I snugged it down one last time and that was it. I did not need to do it again. I've had the pro clip for two months, maybe a little bit more now, and I haven't needed to readjust it you know, since then. And um, in the Challenger, I switch from uh, portrait to landscape all the time and that doesn't really affect the how, how smooth the pro clip operates. So just something to keep in mind. And the cool thing that you uh, don't see often is they have an area back here where the air can flow out so you're not losing a vent you're not getting all that cold air blowing straight straight on the back of your phone making your phone all wet all right so uh i know it was a quick and you know very short and short video but there we go the uh situation with the the jeep has been solved now we have a pro clip in both this car and the uh challenger uh the only thing that's left and i don't even know if they do it is for my winter beater car the 2005 tucson I guess we're going to have to go look that up on uh, ProClipUSA.com and see what we can find. We here at Workplay Drive do not condone texting or using your phone while driving, but getting yourself set up while safely parked somewhere is uh, pretty nice and easy with the, the ProClip. This is one solid mount. As you can see, I'm banging on the phone and it's not moving, but yet you can still easily rotate it. Slide the phone in and out. This is an amazing mount. and. Uh, you know, I understand you're going to pay a little bit more for perfection, but you got to understand with the amount of mounts that I've gone through in, in my vehicles over time, and they've all broken or been very, very, very unsatisfactory. This one, you immediately buy it, you install it in three minutes, and you're done. You don't need another mount. You're not going to be disappointed with this. You know, driving, it's not in your way. You know, there is no blinker over here, or I'm sorry, not blinker. There's no controls over on this side, so you don't have to worry about anything in your way. You can fully see the screen. You can fully touch the screen. Nothing's in your way. This is the perfect mount. I hope this video helped you out in some way, and if it did, please drop a like. And uh, if you're stopping by for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.